One more look at the results as we transition to Sheila Jackson Lee's watch party. Our Corley Peel was there at the Ensemble Theater. Corley, the Congresswoman spoke shortly. Oh, after beautiful we results there. Looks like Sheila must have died Jackson. Uh, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, she's going to be going home. But she wants you to know that she's still going to be working in the back to help this mayor. He don't need your damn help, Heifer. Go on home. If I need some cotton picked or something like that, I'll call you. Because I know you say you was a former slave. This is a beautiful thing in Houston. It's beautiful. I knew beforehand she was already losing. When I saw, when I went to some of these black neighborhoods and they was having posters with corruption wrote on Sheila Jackson Lee's face, I said some of them may be waking up. So all the communities came together. They had Asians, they had Latinos, they had whites, they had black. All was going against Sheila Jackson Lee. The girl got blew out. 64% to 36%. It was a beautiful, beautiful sight if I must say so myself. I got so happy when I saw the results right here. I decided to play me a little of the Hawkins. Uh, you remember Edwin Hawkins? Uh, hold on a minute. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, when Jesus washed. When Jesus washed you all over, Sheila Jackson Lee. Dip her in there. Baptize this girl right here. Dip her down in there. Hold her head under the water. Baptize her real good. Yes, Miss Jackson needs to get baptized with some holy water. Ooh, let's sing that song one more time because this is a happy day in Houston. Oh, when, he was, when Jesus washed, washed her all over. Mm -hmm. He gonna wash the sins away of Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson, she said, "Did you you want to hear?" I was surprised that she came out. There. I said she wasn't gonna come out. But she actually came out and gave a speech. Could you, I could but I said, Sheila Jackson, she said she's going to work for her constituent because she's a public servant. Exhilarated because this has been a wonderful journey. It's been a journey of getting to know more and more Houstonians, more and more of their ideas, more and more of the opportunities we have in this city with the great talent we have in this city. And it also says being a public servant is a great, great opportunity to make things happen. You mentioned that you also wanted to congratulate John Whitmire on his win tonight. And you said that you plan on working with him in the future. Can you tell us what that looks like. Well, I, absolutely. Um, uh, Mr. Whitmire will be the next mayor of the city of Houston. I have worked with every single mayor um, as I've been a public servant, either as a city council member or a member of Congress. Uh, and I look forward to being as helpful as I can. Uh, but when you help the city and help the mayor, you're helping the people. Jackson is a public servant. Wild wolves are supposed to be guarding sheep. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? Girl, you have destroyed the 18th district. Won't you just go away? They don't never stop. You think she's going away? She's going to run again. She's saying two days. She's going to let you know if she's running again. You're going to get slaughtered even worse the next time, Heifer. Everybody, especially if Whitmire just does a, a sort of decent job. Because he can't be worse than Sly Vestas Turner. That closet queer right there. He can't be worse than him giving his boyfriend and everybody else these contracts. But I saw Whitmire. He actually gave a speech afterwards. And there were all kind of people in there congratulating him. He said, we need to get to work. He said, he's going to make it transparent. Now, I hope you're not lying to me. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Even though you're a damn Democrat, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give you an opportunity to clean up this mess that all this corruption has happened. 2024, we'll have a very transparent city hall. We will let the people of Houston know what the true picture is at city hall. We'll get rid of the conflicts of interest. We will deal with the water bills where people have nowhere to turn but City Hall, and then they get a deaf ear. So I'm fired up. I wish I could go to work in the morning, but this is a tribute to the, look at the beauty that's here tonight. This is what Houston represents. And we need to go get that other queer, um, what's his name? Uh, he's the problem with all these damn elections and stuff. We keep on allowing these damn corrupt folks like this to come in and rig stuff. We're going to keep having these same problems. Because I'm hoping with my, I'm hoping that you will actually clean up some of this mess because the corruption. He said, you call City Hall looking for solutions. He said, they supposed to help you. They ain't helping you. But in, in, in tribute to Sheila Jackson Lee. You remember that video that was released of Sheila Jackson Lee cussing out a mofo? Because Sheila Jackson must have died, Jackson Lee, will cuss you out. 
I've been telling people for 10, 15 years she'll cuss you out. They didn't believe me, but somebody finally released the tape. I don't know who did this. I don't know if it was Jerome Nim. I don't know if it was Pookie Nim who released the tape. But she was calling them mother effers. Uh, use a stupid mother effer. She cussed them out. Nobody can out cuss you to Jackson Lee. Matter of fact, I give her the prize for the best cussing politician in public office. Joe Biden cussed. Now, Hillary Clinton will cuss you out, too, and she endorsed Sheila Jackson Lee. Hillary may be second on the list who can cuss you out. That healed the beast, the worst dresser. She may dress worse than Jill. I'm going to give it to Hillary, the worst dresser in the history of any woman who was in public office. She dressed worse than anyone. Those paying suits has got to go, heifer. I told you, when Hillary lost, I was celebrating the same way. Now must I digest. I think her career is over. I don't think she can win again as mayor. I think people's eyes are open now. Especially if Whitmire just does a half decent job. But before we do that, we want to let you see here Cedar Jackson Lee will just cuss rampage. This girl can cuss. Uh, that you took a piece of paper from that woman uh, regarding uh, something that was over at Duncan Tell. Where is it? What, what date was it? All from yes. Jerome took it upstairs. I have to call him. He took it up when I switched out the picture. I'll call him. I, I don't want you to do a goddamn thing. I want you to have a fucking brain. I want you to have read it. I want you to say, Congresswoman, it was such and such date. That's what I want. That's the kind of stamp that I want to have. So some stupid other motherfucker did it. You, and, and I don't have the information. Nobody sent me the information. I need to uh, ensure my um, schedule. And, uh, you know, if, if Boo Boo did it, shit ass did it, fuck face did it, then nobody knows a goddamn thing in my office. Okay? Nothing. I gave it to you. Your job was to get it on the calendar, imprint it in your brain, or send me the information back saying, Congresswoman, I made sure that the old guy Duncan Tell event that you gave me uh, for so-and-so date at 7 is on the fucking calendar. Not to quote Jerome Hansen. Okay? So when I called Jerome, he only be sitting up there like a fat-ass, stupid idiot talking about uh, what the fuck he doesn't know. Okay? Both y'all are fuck up a fucking F. It's the worst shit that I could have ever had put together. Two goddamn big ass children. Fucking idiots. Serve no goddamn purpose. Ain't managing nobody. Nobody's respecting them. Nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. And you ain't doing shit. Sheila Jackson Lee, because she is a certified ignorant. She is the definition of ignorant. If you look up ignorant in the damn dictionary, you'll see Sheila Jackson Lee smiling like this with them cornrows in her head and everything. But we got to give some thanks to a couple of people. Who hit us up yesterday? Rory hit us up for twenty-five dollars. I do appreciate your support, Rory. He was in the live chat with us. Thank you so much, Rory, for that donation. Also, Leopold, I gave him a shout out in the in the uh, live broadcast, but I like to put your names in lights. Leopold hit us up for fifty dollars. Says, "Great job on your YouTube video, sir." I didn't want to butcher your last name, now, Leopold, but it looks German. I mean, you can tell me in the comment if it is. And Christine Walker hit us up for $7 on our cash app on yesterday also. So God bless you. Now let's get back to the ignorant. Let's celebrate with the ignorant that she's not going to be in office again. And I'm so happy down here in Houston. I mean, we were. I was thinking about leaving if uh, Sheila Jackson Lee got in office. Now she's going to be gone, but she ain't going away. Cusser. Nobody can not cuss Sheila Jackson Lee. Woo, that girl can, did you, did you hear that language in there? And she says that somebody, her enemies released it. Did you say it, Heffa? Did you say it? Now, what I want you to do, you feel her and you, you get out there and you pick me some more cotton. What you do, you say, oh, this is ridiculous. Are you talking about this woman right here? And take that out your hair. I'll make you sweat them cornrows out your hair, Heffa. You got there and sweat them cornrows out your freaking hair. Pick me some cotton, because it's hot out there. You can mess your fingers up, too. Your fingers will be bleeding picking that cotton girl. She looked like she's a good cat and pick right there. They wouldn't let you in the house. You're not a you a field hand. You're not a house nigga. You a field hand. You get out there and pick some more cat. Please don't let Sheila Jackson leave back in office. This heifer will destroy this city. This is a beautiful day in Houston. We should all celebrate. Come on, sing. Oh, a happy day. He got to wash you all over now. Come on, come on, come on, watch. Remember Boy Lawrence did that movie when he was doing like Big Mama. Watch this. 
when Jesus wash you. He gonna wash you all over. Take a bath. Come on, Sheila Jackson. You got to bathe in that water. Dip her down in that hole. You remember when you used to get baptized? They used to dip you down. That preacher push your head in the water. She need to be dipped down like five or six times. Make sure you get all that sin off of her. Get washed, girl. While you're picking cotton, you can get washed while you're picking cotton.